So we are going to look at homogeneity and we also use the homogeneity so homogeneity and homogenetic functions or functions okay for homogeneity a function is said to be homogeneous so a function f say x1 x2 da, 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 da. Xn is said to be homogeneous of a set. This is so a function. This is a function. This is said to be homogeneous. Uh, homogeneous. If say I introduce a scalar to the augment of the function the input of the function so let's say i introduce something like t the tx1 tx2 txn if by introducing the scalar to the input it will end, i'll end up getting t exponent scale times this one the same x1 x2 xn so a function is set to homogeneous if this equal to this. Uh -huh. So now the degree has the degree will be k. So this function will be set to be of degree k, homogeneous up to the degree k. If this is equal to this. So for you to prove that a function is homogeneous, you only you can introduce a scalar to the inputs. And then you will see if you can factor the scalar out to a certain degree. Then you can prove that it is homogeneous. Concerning homotetic function, homotetic function is a function that is taken or that is arrived or derived by taking a monotonic transformation. When I say monotonic transformation, it's all about having a homogeneous function to the degree one so a uh, homotetic function is derived as a function that uh, uh, is a monotonic transformation of a homogeneous function so a homotetic function also possesses the property of homogeneity whereby the order is preserved so the order of the value the, the value of this set is the order is preserved so you see the order is preserved or is preserved so we'll go ahead and this one example. So let's say example or illustration. Prove that F K L, which is given by K P L P over one over P, is homothetic. Or first, let me let me let's use. Only P. Only P. Prove that this is homogeneous. So, solution. Know that for homogenite, we do what we introduce a scalar to the variables of the input. So I have F T K. Then I have F T what? L. So now wherever I see T K, wherever I see K, instead of just maintaining the K, I'll put T K. Wherever I see L, instead of maintaining the L, I'll put what? T L. So now F T K L T L will give me T K exponent P plus TL exponent P or exponent P. So I will expand when I have TP, KP plus TP, LP or exponent P. I will have, I can factor TP, TP out. But you should know that it's also big, all its exponent towards P. So I can make it like TP out KP plus LP 
all from P. According to indices, if I have A, N, B, N, then M is the same as A, N, M, B, N, M. So I'll take this one and this. Take this, this will be treated as the B here, and it will end up being this one. So I can write it as two months. Okay, so I can write it as TP all experience P. Then I have KP plus LP all experience. So I have T, K, T, L. With this one, with this one, the P, P will give me what? P squared. T, P squared. K, P plus L, P, all in P. Now F, T, K, T, L. So, so long as we've been able to still get back the function f x1 so like this function here uh, so we can write this as this can be written as t f t k t l will be equal to t p squared t p squared in place of this r can write rewrite the function f what k l so it is similar to this, where we have the T, T. So, so long as this is this, we can say that this function is homogeneous to the degree P squared. This is homogeneous to the degree K. So this function will be homogeneous to the degree P squared. Okay. So similarly, I'll just change the function and we will find for homotetic. We said the homotetic is similar to homo homo homogeneity. Just that the degree is supposed to be exponent 1 or degree 1. So I'll introduce this, so I'll change the function. So we will see that if we get, we are able to get an order to be 1 or degree 1. So now here will be what? All exponents. So now, Similarly, I have TP out, KP, TP, LP, all exponents 1 over what? P. I can factor the TP out, and I have KP plus LP, all exponents 1 over P. And I have TP exponents 1 over P, KP plus LP exponents 1 over P. This P will cancel this P. So I have T exponent 1, which is the same as T. Then KP plus LP. So this is like T, then the F again. FK, F. So F, T, K, T, L. In this case, the order is what? 1. So we have. Proving that this function, we now want to prove that it is what? Homotetic. So we just have to know that for it to be homotetic, the order is supposed to be 1. So we go to the same way of proving the homogeneity and, to, and prove that the order of the homogeneity should be what? 1. The order should be preserved and the degree should be 1. So since the degree of t is 1, we see that this function is homotetic. Homotetic. So that's the proof for homogeneity and for homotetic function. Homotetic function.